The countdown begins. World War III, 2024 Olympics, and the final Pope. I will show you in this video that some of the most major death rituals revolved around the numbers of Pope Francis and that the 2024 Olympics in Paris looks like it will be a blood ritual which may trigger World War III and the end of days. So before I get into this code, I want to give a big shout out to my brother in Christ, Austin. God bless you. Now check out this new show that's come out called Those About to Die. Those about to die. Okay? Let's break this down, shall we? Look at that audience rating of 3.3. Check this out. Rome is the center of the Roman Empire and the wealthiest city in the world. Reliant on slave labor, the population, bored, restless, and increasingly violent, is kept in line with free food, chariot racing, and gladiator fights. This tale delves into the world of the games, characterized by bloodlust, greed, the pursuit of power, and corruption. The races at Circus Maximus are controlled by four patrician-owned corporations, the blue, red, white, and green factions. Shares in the four factions are the most valuable things in Rome. I just think about the four horsemen, guys. As the taste and entertainment of the populace becomes more jaded and bloodthirsty, the Colosseum is built specifically for gladiatorial combat. The scale of the stadium, as well as the gladiatorial and animal combats, is enormous, as is the underbelly, and its flourishing betting business. Underground, beneath the stands, thousands of people work and live, among them many who will die for the games. Let's see if there's any deaths during the 2024 Olympics, shall we? Now, Sir Philip Anthony Hopkins, CBE, plays the star role the Sapician in the show, Those About to Die. Okay, you see him here? Anthony Hopkins, right? Who obviously played Hannibal. Pope Francis replaced Pope Benedict XVI, who died on Anthony Hopkins' 85th birthday. Okay, Anthony Hopkins was born December the 31st, 1937, a year after the Pope was born. And Pope Benedict the 16th died on December the 31st, 2022, on Anthony Hopkins' 85th birthday. And in Jumatra, the devil equals 85. And Hopkins' last name's interesting because it was John Hopkins University which hosted event 201. Now, Anthony Hopkins starred as Hannibal Lecter in the movie Red Dragon, and the 2024 Olympics takes place in the year of the dragon. To understand the origin of evil, you must go back to the beginning. Okay? Red Dragon the first and most terrifying chapter in the Hannibal Lecter trilogy. Revelation 12, 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Now, the first episode of Those About to Die was aired the 18th of July, 2024 on Peacock. 
on the 99 year anniversary of Adolf Hitler's autobiography, Mein Kampf, being published. Revelation 9.9 And they had breastplates, as it was breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. Makes you think, doesn't it, about Rome? Now, I believe that the 2024 Olympics will be the last ever Olympics. The first ever International Olympics of the modern history was held in Greece in 1896. And I find it so wild that the host nation Greece won the most medals with 47. And obviously, 2024 is the year that USA will vote in its 47th US president. And in the first ever Summer Olympics of the modern day era, the United States won the most gold medals with 11. Okay, guys, Injimatria Pope equals 11. Francis became the Pope 11 years ago in 2013. Also, the 1896 Summer Olympics began on 4 6, April the 6th, and World War I lasted four years, and World War II lasted six years. Now, the 2024 Olympics will take place in France 128 years later. In 2024, on 128, January the 28th, the first patient received the Neuralink brain chip, which I believe is prepping society for the mark of the beast. Now, check this out, guys. I did a video about this. An environmental activist wearing a T-shirt with the message we have 1,028 days left, interrupted the French Open men's semi-final between Casper Rudd and the 2014 US Open champion Marin Silic by attaching herself to the net with metal wires and glue and kneeling on the court. Now, we know all knees are going to bow for the second coming of Jesus Christ, but do you see the 128 here? All right. And the activist said the following. We are in 2022. Just know 20 plus 22 equals 42. And the beast of Revelation reigns for 42 months. And it is time to face reality. The world to which politicians are sending us is a world to which Roland Garros will no longer be able to exist. Today I entered the field because I can no longer take the risk of doing nothing in the face of the climate emergency. Okay, that's what the activist Elise said. Now, 1,028 days is what we have left to determine the future of humanity, according to Elise, which is less than three years. And here's the image. We have 1,028 days left, okay? This was taken at the French Open, the upcoming Olympics. It's being held in France, all right? Now, Bill Gates... He's been pushing digital ID and global vaccines for a while now. And he was born in 1955 on 10-28. October the 28th, which is 128, when you drop the zero in numerology. Now, the Francis Key Bridge, I did a video about this as well, collapsed on the 26th of March, 2024, at 1.28 a.m. in Maryland, guys. Jesus' mother was Mary. And 128 days before what would have been Francis Scott Key's 245th birthday. Guys, Francis. Pope Francis. All right, remember when Argentina beat France in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final one day after Pope Francis's birthday, who's Argentinian? Now, in Gematria, bridge collapse equals 128. Maryland equals 128. This whole world, guys, is collapsing. Now, Revelation 12.8 is about how there was a war in heaven between Michael and his angels versus Lucifer, the red dragon, and his angels. And Lucifer, the red dragon, was defeated and cast out of heaven with a third of the angels. Revelation 12.8 and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. 
So guys, a third of the angels were cast out of heaven to earth. They live amongst us. We are living out a spiritual war. And it's time to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior because he is the only one who's going to protect you from what's about to come. Now, Bill Gates' ex-wife is Melinda Gates and her middle name is French. Guys, whose middle name is French? Well, Melinda Gates' middle name is French. Another person who heavily pushed global vaccines. Now, in September 2023, King Charles III and Camilla went on a three-day visit to France, which I believe was foreshadowing World War III. Now, France's dialing code is plus 3-3. Three, three. Okay, it's why the 2022 FIFA World Cup final saw Argentina and France meeting in a game that finished 3-3 after extra time. And Argentina went on to win the shootout 4-2 to ensure that they picked up their third World Cup win and stayed on three runners-up. Now, Pope Francis became the Pope in 2013. 20 plus 13 equals 33. Revelation 3.3 3. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Only God knows the time and the hour, guys. Now is the time to repent and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior whilst you still can. Now, Charles and Camilla's visit to France in September 2023 was Charles's 35th official visit to France and Camilla's 9th. 359 is the 72nd prime number. Francis became the first openly Jesuit Pope on the 72nd day of 2013, and the Jesuits do not have a good history, guys. Now, check out this quote here from Marquise de Lafayette, all right, who was a French statesman and general who served in under the command of General George Washington during the American Revolutionary War. Here's what he had to say about the Jesuits. It is my opinion that if the liberties of this country, the United States of America, are destroyed, it will be by the subtlety of the Roman Catholic Jesuit priests, for they are the most crafty, dangerous enemies to civil and religious liberty. They have instigated most of the wars of Europe. And now we have Francis, the first openly Jesuit pope, who's completely going against the word of God with his preaching, guys. Telling the world we're all going to heaven and that we're all good. That is not the word of God. The Bible tells us that none are good, only God. It also tells us that the road to heaven is narrow, guys. Do not put your trust in false prophets like the Pope, who I believe is the final Pope. Now, Charles III was married to Diana Francis Spencer, who died in Paris, France, on August the 31st, 1997, shortly after she divorced King Charles III. Right, guys, I'm going to discuss 9-11 and the 2005 London bombings and keep an eye on Islamic extremists, guys, at the upcoming Olympics in Paris, France. So we know 9-11-2001, it was the largest public sacrifice other than the Holocaust, which was actually a private sacrifice. And 9-11, Google tells us this, the September 11 attacks, commonly known as 9-11, were four coordinated Islamist terrorist suicide attacks carried out by Al-Qaeda against the United States of America in 2001. That morning, 19 terrorists hijacked four commercial airliners scheduled to travel from the East Coast to California. So that's 9-11, okay? And we're told Islamic terrorists were behind that. Now, if we go to the 7-7-2005 London bombings, Google tells us the following. The 7 July 2005 London bombings, also referred to as 7-7, were a series of four coordinated suicide attacks 
carried out by Islamist terrorists that targeted commuters travelling on London's public transport during the morning rush hour. Okay, 56 people died. We know the upcoming election for the 47th US president takes place on a day leaving 56 days left in the year. We know King Charles III was coronated on May the 6th, 5-6. And I can also tell you that Boris Johnson resigned on 7-7. Seven, seven. And he was the 77th UK Prime Minister. And you have Flight 77, which was involved with 9-11, okay? Which hit the 77-foot-tall Pentagon in the 77th Meridian West, 77 minutes after it took off. See the coded reality that we live in, guys? Can't be denied at this point. All right, so from 9-11-2001 to 7-7-2005 is 199 weeks. Pope Francis was born on Saturnalia on 12-17, and 1,217 is the 199th prime number. Remember that Queen Elizabeth II's funeral, guys, took place on 19-9, the 19th of September. Revelation 19-9, And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Guys, the marriage supper of the Lamb. Anthony Hopkins starred in Silence of the Lambs. Now, the Paris attacks were a series of coordinated Islamic terrorist attacks which took place on Friday the 13th, November 2015. Exactly 32 weeks after Pope Francis became the Pope. The upcoming 2024 Olympics in Paris, France will include 28 returning sports and four new additions. And 28 plus 4 equals 32, because everything's coded. All right? The Society of Jesus were founded in Paris, France, and their logo is a sun, which has 32 rays. Revelation 3.2 Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. That's deep. Now, Pope Francis became the Pope in 2013 on 13.3. Revelation 13.3. And I saw one of his heads as it was wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Now, the 2024 Olympics, all right, it's being hosted by France. And France come into the 2024 Summer Olympics with 751 all-time medals. 751 is the 133rd prime. Guys, the Olympics have been coded since the very beginning. Now, from 9-11-2001 to Francis becoming the Pope on 13-3-2013 is exactly 11 years and 6 months. And 116 is an upside-down 9-11. Okay. In the movie Back to the Future, Marty, played by Michael J. Fox, arrived at the mall at 1.16 a.m., which when turned upside down, gets you 9.11. Okay? This is not a coincidence. This is just reality. Revelation 9.11, and they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. All right? And the first modern-day Olympics was in 1896, and it was held in Greece. Remember King Charles III's father was Prince Philip, who was born in Greece, and Israel was attacked by Hamas exactly 911 days after Prince Philip died. And we know that Queen Elizabeth II died 911 days after coronavirus was declared a global pandemic. Just so you know, guys, as well, for a bonus, Tom Brady, the GOAT, he made his NFL debut the year of 9-11, and he played his last ever NFL game in 2023 on 1-16.
January the 16th against Dallas Cowboys. Okay. Twin Pines Mall, like the Twin Towers came down on 9-11. Now, the 2024 Olympics has a countdown clock on Google. Do you know what else has a countdown? A bomb. Okay. Check it out on Google. This countdown. Just confirmation here that the 2024 Summer Olympics, all right, is going to be taking place in Paris, France in 2024. 32 sports. The motto is games wide open. Now, Pope Francis calls for the Olympics to be celebrated with a truce. This false prophet, guys. Ahead of the opening of the Olympic Games, Pope Francis suggested taking up an ancient tradition. Pope Francis said the following, I hope this event can be a sign of the inclusive world we want to build and that the athletes, with their athletic testimony, will be messengers of peace and good role models for young people According to ancient tradition, may the Olympics be an opportunity to establish a truce in wars, demonstrating a sincere desire for peace. Let's go to the Bible, something that the Pope doesn't like to do. 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 1 through 3. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travel upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. He also said games which promote peace and not war. The games the Pope suggested promote peace and not war, acknowledging that it is in this spirit. All right. It's all demonic spirits in professional sports, guys that antiquity wisely established a truce during the games, a tradition that the modern era continues to revive. You know what these games are going to bring in? The Hunger Games, guys. All right? Famine. War. Death. And the Olympics, guys, it's worldwide, isn't it? It's worldwide. 206 nations participating, guys. The World Cup, you have 32, 206. The whole world will be watching. Pay attention to what is going down at these Olympics, guys. Whether you like sports or not, pay close attention because the Olympics are always connected to politics and the Bible. Okay? So, he said, In this troubled period where world peace is gravely threatened, Pope Francis appealed, I earnestly wish that everyone will have at heart to respect this truce in the hope of resolving conflicts and returning to concord. May God have mercy on us. May God have mercy on us. His God is Satan, guys. Pope Francis's God is the devil. Okay? You see that in his teachings. Now, Pope Francis was born in 1936, the same year that Adolf Hitler and Germany hosted the Olympics in Berlin. The 1936 Berlin Olympic Games were more than just a worldwide sporting event, guys. They were a show of Nazi propaganda stirring significant conflict. Okay? Pope Francis was born the year that Hitler and Germany hosted the Olympics. Now, check this out. It just gets crazier. Now, Rome hosted the Olympics in 1960, 84 years ago. And Pope Francis became the Pope four weeks and two days after the Basilica was struck twice by lightning, which was God's wrath, guys, on the Catholic Church, which was on the 42nd day of 2013, exactly 84 years after Vatican City was founded. On the 42nd day of 1929, the same year that the Great Depression began. Well, we're going through a really tough time now, aren't we? Economically, 
and it's only going to get more intense so Satan can bring about the mark of the beast where you can't buy or sell without it. That's what we are working towards. And only those who give themselves to Christ will deny that mark. Now the beast of Revelation reigns for 42 months. How interesting that Vatican City was founded on the 42nd day of the year and Pope Francis becomes the Pope four weeks and two days after the Basilica was struck twice by lightning. Remember Lucifer was cast out of heaven like a lightning bolt in Luke 10.18 and event 201. All right. Bill Gates was behind it. That took place October the 18th, 10.18. Now France, they won the 2018 World Cup all right, they won the final 4-2 against Croatia and they did this in Russia. All right, we know Russia's flag is similar to France's. That World Cup began on Donald Trump's 72nd birthday and I believe Russia are going to play a huge role in World War Three. okay, when they're going to become allies with the Middle East and look to take out Israel, which is what we see in Ezekiel. Now let's look at the prophecies of the Irish Saint Malachi. All right, the 12th century bishop of Armagh. His prophecy have thrilled and dismayed readers for centuries. Now in a series of 112 cryptic Latin phrases, the Irish saint predicts the Roman Catholic popes. He predicted there would be only one more pope after Benedict and during his reign comes the end of the world. So Francis could be the last. Okay. Benedict died in 2023, but he stepped down as the Pope in 2013. And guys, for him to step down, that was a huge shock. Because he lived for another 10 years after he stepped down. It wasn't like he was terminally ill. Now, 112 is interesting because the Jesuits operate in 112 nations. In Gematria, Catholicism equals 112. Now, in the Old Testament... It has 613 Mosaic laws, which we no longer need to follow because of the sacrifice and resurrection of Christ. But 613 is the 112th prime number. Our whole reality is coded, guys. Got to learn this code. Now, in 1139, then Archbishop Malachi went to Rome from Ireland to give an account of his affairs. While there, he received a strange vision about the future that included the name of every pope 112 in all from his time who would rule until the end of time. We are now at the last prophecy. Revelation 11.2 Listen carefully. But the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city shall they tread underfoot 42 months. Guys, I'm going to leave you with this. All right, John 16, 33. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. God wins. This is the most profound code that I've ever done. And big shout out to my brother in Christ, Austin, who inspired this when he sent me some incredible information earlier today. And we had goosebumps messaging each other back and forth for two hours straight because we know we know what's coming we know the mark of the beast is coming okay we know pestilence is coming we know war is coming we know death is coming but you know what else we know we know jesus christ is coming and he's going to put an end to all sin he's going to set the world on fire and those who accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior will spend eternity in the kingdom of heaven with their Messiah. God wins!